healthy quality. What is healthy quality? It means that everyone has the equal opportunity to be as healthy as possible by having access to health programs and more. But the thing is, does everyone have equal access? With COVID-19 on the rise and still lingering around, everyone is at risk for getting it. Everyone needs to do their part to stay safe. I'm Kara Benson, a junior at Felician University in Rutherford, New Jersey. Staying safe on campus is something I want, something I'm sure everyone wants, but I wanted to find out more from my peers on their thoughts, so that's exactly what I did. So do you know what health equality is, and if so, what is it? Um, everyone has the like, same health benefits, I, I, I guess, like health insurance and stuff. I want to say yes, but no. To be honest, no. Um, no, actually. It's that anybody, regardless of socioeconomic uh, background, deserves the same level of health as someone who might be uh, a little more financially beneficial. Everyone having access to the same type of care across the board. Where everyone is equal and is very healthy. Well, uh, health equality is kind of self-explanatory, the equality for health. Uh, for everybody, but I don't think this country has uh, resources in terms of equality, uh, in terms of healthcare. To me, health equality means that each and every background, ethnicity, um, receives the right amount of treatment and the same treatment. No. Everyone needs health like, from each other, from all around. I would say that health equality is giving everybody equal access to healthcare. <laughs> no, not really. I'm not sure. Health equality to me is equal health access for all. Health equality, I would say, is when an individual is taking care of themselves in different dimensions of concepts of like physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, I think I said mentally, but there's different concepts of making sure a person is self, essentially self-care and taking care of themselves as a whole, um, covering those facets of themselves. Um, it is that everybody has the same opportunity to be healthy. To me, the way I, I understand health equality is that everybody should have access to the same quality services, um, to physical and mental health, uh, regardless of gender, uh, race, uh, socio-economical uh, status. Mm -hmm. So everybody should have access to the same opportunities in in health? Um, not exactly. Um, health equality to me would be equal access to health care. Um, and right now I think our, our nation needs to do a better job with that. Um, if health insurance is employment based, um, there are many people who might have a disability, might not be employable, children are not employable. Um, so I think we really need to, to work on that as a nation to make sure that everyone has equal access and it's not employment related. Um, so I would say I'm not entirely sure of like the actual definition, but what I would assume it is, um, is that everybody has equal access to healthcare. Are you concerned for your safety health-wise being on campus? Um, I most I live off campus, so I'm not on campus as much as some other people, but I have felt generally safe when on campus. I've been lucky to not catch COVID during the two years, so <laughs> I've um, and I've gotten vaccinated and stuff, so sometimes like I feel generally safe when I am on campus. Um, so I haven't felt not safe, so. I have not been concerned for my safety. Um, I think I've, I've been following the protocols in terms of temperature checks and mask wearing and we have um, those uh, protective room dividers so that when we do therapy if a student you know was panicky, had trouble breathing, needs to cry, blow their nose, they could remove their mask safely. Um, so I, I feel the university and the counseling center have been following the protocols. So I have felt good. Of course, I had my own anxiety, you know, before the, the vaccine, I thought, you know, when you think you could die, there's always a level of anxiety. But I do feel within reason, we, we did what we needed to do to ensure the safety of everyone. No, I, um, I was at the beginning of COVID and I wasn't at this campus, but um, it was scary because we didn't know like much. We still have questions about it, but um, I chose to like, 
live life right now because I don't know how long it's gonna take and um, I'm doing my part like I'm just making sure that I don't put other people in a position like for risk of safety but for me I I'm traveling I'm an international student so I travel so much uh, and this is the time to do so so for me um, um, I'm not scared I'm living life as, as I want to right now um, I'm taking as much like I'll wear my mask and uh, I'll be safe but um, if it happens it happens um, no I think everyone is pretty safe everyone wears their mask I wear my mask and also I am boosted and vaccinated so I think that that really makes a difference I would say now no I was in the beginning obviously like when the pandemic you know we had a lot of COVID cases um, I would say now that numbers are a little bit lower I feel more safe um, I also know that mostly everybody on campus is vaccinated and wears their mask so um, yeah I feel pretty safe now um, before I was vaccinated I was because I'm about asthmatic but ever since I got vaccinated I'm not bothered by it um, I've never been concerned most for the most part, all our professors, like, they they do tell us, like, put on your mask, especially if you feel uncomfortable, you can move away. Um, so it's never really been a problem for me. So for me, it comes in waves. Sometimes when the case numbers are rising, I do feel that we need more social distancing and we should be a little more stricter with rules. But when cases are lower, and I know that in campus in particular, the cases aren't high, I do feel safer because I feel that my coworkers wear their masks, they social distance, they, we all, keep to the rules as best as we can, hand washing and all that kind of stuff. Yes, and, uh, of course, everybody is uh, vaccinated and they're required to be vaccinated, so go get a vaccine. Yes, I'm concerned because uh, a family of mine is immunocompromised and I'm, I'm, I have, I'm feared that she might get COVID because of, of me. Um, COVID has many risks and many challenges for everybody regardless of where you are but to be honest I feel very safe at Felician. I know that um, our administration, our president, uh, the, uh, the standing COVID committee are very committed to um, the safe, the safety and the protection of all of us, all of the Felician community and I do trust my Felician community. Um, as of right now, no, um, I was during COVID, you know, I think, uh, everyone was during the pandemic. I mean, like, even with your mask on, you're following the procedures, you're still scared and like, I mean, I feel like no one's been through something like that since years in the past. I mean, certainly it's the first time I've been through something like that. No, um, because I know that there is a vaccination requirement across the university, so the majority of everybody here is vaccinated. Um, aside from that, in our office, which is student development and engagement, um, we're all pretty good about masking when we're near each other. And if we have a large event or anything like that with a lot of people, we make sure that we're sanitizing, we're looking out for each other and kind of keeping everybody's well-being in mind. And so I'm um, not too concerned with safety at this point in time. No, as of now and today, I'm not concerned. I was concerned, you know, pre-pandemic and during like the rise of pandemic, my mom was strictly, you're staying home, so kind of thing. So she definitely was um, mindful of my safety as well as I was mindful of my own. I am not. I haven't had um, had any concerns. Lots of support from, from the office I work in and um, we took a lot of good precautions. Personally, no, because I don't live on campus, but if I did live on campus, and I used to, then yes. No, I'm not too concerned about my safety health-wise. Um, I think overall the university has provided um, some exceptional, you know, um, policies to implement it, such as the vaccine mandate, the booster mandate, as well as uh, uh, plenty of Clorox wipes and hand sanitizers, masking. Um, so I think we're doing a pretty decent job overall in making sure the students are safe. Yes, because uh, even though it's been heard that they're gonna like get rid of the whole mask wearing rule, I still worry because like I'm still around people, and you never know if they're boosted or they have the vac or they don't have the vaccine fully. Do you think people do enough to stay safe on campus? I would say 50-50. I feel like some are a little bit lean in with the mask wearing and I know that the mask mandate is ending but hopefully 
everyone will still comply and still kind of follow the rules and hopefully we can end this pandemic at some point. <laughs> yeah, I think especially during the first uh, month of the pandemic, people were uh, very aware of the regulation. Now it's a little more uh, less restrictive, but still having some like uh, taking measure. Yeah, I think so. They, uh, yeah. They be trying. Yeah. Yes, but I think there's always room for improvement with everything. So definitely, like, make sure that you sanitize, make sure that you wear your mask, make sure that you're diligent about everything that you could be doing to keep everybody safe. I think as much as you can ask from them, I think like like before, I think it's been taking a bit long, and people, you know, like having the one in the college experience, not getting them and missing some parts of important life. I think um, college time is important. Um, so. Um, I think wherever we, we have the rules and we have where they need to be in place, I think people are doing it. Um, and I understand that I think most people will like will follow them. Um, but so yeah, basically I think I think we're still doing pretty good. Um, but I'm also think that we're getting kind of over it right now, just because it's been it's been long and it's for for everybody. Um, so people that still feel unsafe, that they have to be, um, of course, be in mind. Like we have to be mindful of them because they might be in a different situation, not as healthy as other people. So for them, it, it still makes sense. Um, but for students, I hear people like kind of be done with it and be back to life. But so it's a balance. I mean, you know, as long as you wear the mask and you wash your hands and you are like you stay at home, you know, when you're sick. And I feel like that should be enough to keep us safe. From what I've seen, I think so. Uh, there are... I haven't really seen anything that would make me not feel safe. I hope that they are doing enough. Um, as much as uh, we want to think that they uh, you know, take all the precautions, um, it is on each one of us to be uh, safe with ourselves and with the ones who love and everybody here. Yes, I guess because some of them still wear masks and some of them don't because they probably just don't care. People were very good at following the protocols in the beginning, but then I think there was a period where it, it kind of got tiresome and, and wore off and then people got a little bit more lax maybe about mask wearing. Like I had heard maybe, you know, at larger scale events, like not to target anyone but like there was a basketball game and there weren't many masks that's so why I heard people talking about that but I think in general we've tried if we found out that it was maybe not safe we tried to correct that and say just a reminder masks up or so of course people grow wary of things um, but I, I thought people were very respectful of each other I think individually everybody tries their best to stay safe um, now that like COVID is kind of in like the flux a little bit a little people a lot more people are trying to be a little bit more free with it which sometimes can be a little concerning but everyone still keeps and maintains the same guidelines um, the security does a good job but yes I think as a community we are really uh, taking care of each other and looking after each other so yes I think in general most people do I think the unfortunate thing is the communication we've had especially in terms of if we're going mask optional when that actually started when that was supposed to start for some people it started the minute an email went out whereas it's supposed to really start in a, start in a couple weeks so I think that in general a lot of people are ca cautious of what they're doing, but I think we could do better, especially in terms of our communication about what are the mandates and what are we requiring at this point in time. Um, in most of my classes, personally, we I've seen masks everywhere. Every once in a while, there is a person that doesn't wear a mask, but like that happens. Like not everyone wants to wear the mask, but I think that we're safe for the most part. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that everybody you know, who was able to get vaccinated, got vaccinated. Um, so, you know, I think that that's doing their part. Um, and I also appreciate, you know, when students come to the events and things like that and they're wearing their mask um, and they don't give us a hard time when we tell them to put their masks on. No, <laughs> um, I, th I, th I, th I, th I think the, uh, I think the uh, higher ups and everything, faculty and everything tries the best that they can do. But at the end of the day, you can't stop, uh, you know, um, young adults, I guess you, you call them, um, being themselves. 
you know, everyone in college likes to do, you know, go out, do stuff and everything, hang out with their friends. And, you know, you, you, you put these, man, these uh, rules and mandates in place and you expect them to follow it, you know, but you also expect them not to. Yes, overall, I think, you know, students, faculty, and staff, for the most part, are pretty safe. Um, they are masking indoors, when you know, especially when asked, if somebody forgets to come inside and we're asking them to still put their mask on, they do follow um, all guidelines from what I've experienced. It's an iffy question because some people don't wear their masks over their nose like like, uh, like other people, but you're, this, is how you're wear, this is how you wear the, your mask the proper way. And some people don't follow the rules and not wear masks. If you could say one thing to people on how to stay safe from COVID-19, what would you say? So I think a lot of those obvious things, hand washing, trying to be as socially distanced as possible. I do still think mask wearing is important, but I think also vaccination, getting vaccinated. If you're eligible for a booster, get a booster and try to get as many people around you also to get vaccinated so that we can get herd immunity as quick as, you know, as possible. That way we can hopefully be out of the pandemic. If you're sick, if you're coughing, because it's always the people that are coughing and like sneezing, put on a mask. Like it's, it's not that hard. Put on a thin mask. It's, it's for the best for everybody, to be honest. Very much. Think about everybody and do what you can to keep everybody safe. Um, if you're eligible to get a vaccine, get a vaccine. If you're near a sink, wash your hands. If you have a mask on, you wear it. Um, you never know what someone else might be going through, so definitely kind of think through um, what you could do to make other people's lives easier during this time as well. You know, wash your hands. That's a big thing. You know, I, I like, I, like I saw like a statistic on Twitter about like how, how many people like don't wash their hands after they, they like, you know go to the bathroom and stuff or like and i've been watching a lot of like hell hell's kitchen or kitchen nightmares and stuff and some people in kitchens like would touch one thing and then touch another and everything without washing their hands contaminating other stuff so that just makes me more of like a health freak i guess even though i've never been but you know covid opened my eyes to that so wash your hands wear your mask and social distance get get vaccinated that's simple get vaccinated just to continue being mindful of yourself and others, like if you're sick, then um, like stay home. And I would also recommend, if you're able to get vaccinated, to get vaccinated. I would say that the pandemic is not over. Um, so make sure that if you're not vaccinated, you get vaccinated, um, you wear your mask when you, know, you should be wearing your mask and um, wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, wash your hands, uh, wear a mask and don't forget to sanitize your hands as well. <laughs> Listen to doctors. <laughs> like that's that's first and foremost. Um, don't listen to an aging comic on a podcast. <laughs> like that's definitely one thing I could say. Um, wear the masks. Uh, like I said, it's it's not protecting yourself; it's protecting other people, and it's supposed to be a good faith system. And it's just painful that a lot of people are breaking that good faith system. Hand sanitation. Make sure you clean your hands often using hand sanitizer because that's like the number one cause, from my opinion, um, of why it's transmitted. Putting your hands in your face, making sure your hands are clean, um, and just making sure you're safe. Mask up if you're in a crowded place. Please wear your mask and get vaccinated. Continue to make good, educated decisions. Um, get vaccinated and wear your mask when you need to. I would say minimize going out and meeting with like a large group of people. Um, sometimes it's a great way to like focus on yourself, stay inside a little. You don't always have to go out, um, but if you do and you feel the need to do so, wear a mask and you know social distance. You know, just like the stuff we were, you know, you know, wear the mask. You know, wash your hands. Just you know, keep yourself, you know, safe by you know. Uh, doing everything you can to avoid getting sick. Still keep wearing a mask until everything's officially over. I would say wear your mask. Um, although the, the mask mandate has been lifted, but it, it is still a protection um, for all of us. Um, get vaccinated if, uh, if that is something that you could do uh, and boost it. Uh, wash your hands. Um, the same precautions that we, that we had at the beginning of uh, the pandemic. 
I will say get vaccinated. It's important for yourself. If you don't want to take that decision, it's respectful. But at least be concerned of others, especially elder people and people in risk. And wash your hands, try to wear a mask in closed uh, spaces. Get vaccinated if you it's medically possible. Get vaccinated, please. <laughs> After talking to these students, faculty, staff, and more on Felician's campus, I've come to realize something. Even though everyone had different opinions about the whole pandemic, everyone had one thing in common. At the end of the day, everyone wants to stay safe, be happy, and healthy. That's exactly what I want too for not only Felician's campus, but for the entire world. So let's make that happen. Think of others' health. Be thoughtful, aware, and educated. As of March 10th, over 216 million Americans are fully vaccinated. That's more than 65% of the population. Become a part of that percentage. Step up, vax up.